Hey guys, Blair Everything here, and today we are going to be finally going over everything that I've put on to the Jeep in the last couple of months. So, I've done a few of these videos, but recently I got a whole lot of stuff done to it. So, I'm going to go over all those things. Uh, and I'm not going to go over every one of the prices um, because they will definitely fluctuate on where you buy them um, but because I had to buy them through the place I was installing them some things were more expensive, some things were less for instance these uh, AEV um, Bora um, false beadlock wheels so this isn't a true beadlock um, it just looks like it but it does do, I don't think it does anything for the actual bead itself um, from separating. Um, it looks like it does, but it doesn't. Um, you can buy the ring for these. So basically, there's the wheel inside, right? And then there's this separate ring that goes on top for a beadlock. Now this ring is actually like really high quality plastic. It's not metal. Um, it's, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's plastic at all. It's solid beyond belief, but it is plastic. And so you can replace these for a real beadlock if you do for some reason want to air down below like 12 PSI or so. Um, but these will suffice and take a lot less time to put on because beadlocks will take up to, well, down, it's like a minimum of like 40 minutes a tire because you have to torque wrench eats one of these like 33 screws I think, uh, 33 bolts or so and uh, torque wrench them twice because you don't want to push one down on the bead more than the other so you have to do it twice on each, it's ridiculous then over here I've got the uh, Goodyear Kevlar um, I've got the Goodyear Kevlar Wrangler uh, or Kevlar Sidewall Wrangler tires um, these things are a beast because what they do basically on the sides here they're uh they have these treads um so if you have a rock on the side that you need to you need to grab onto these will help you a little bit with that and then the sidewall is very is it's probably the most um it's probably the most your sidewall is probably the most vulnerable part of your actual tire or your whole car probably because you can if you slice the sidewall of a tire, you really can't replace it. You can't. I mean, you really don't have any other option except for replacing it. They won't repair them at tire shops, and you can do your own little repair, but it is on the sidewall, and it would be, it would be bad. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work as well as a repair on the top of the tire, and it would be dangerous to drive on. So these tires are very nice in that the sidewall is extremely strong and reinforced a little bit. It also says Wrangler on them. Not 100% sure if that's just because they should be put on a Jeep or, or what, I don't know, but yeah. And then next up, you can probably see in there, but I got the two and a half inch, or two to two and a half inch Fox Shocks uh, lift, and um, it lifted the car a little more than two inches because if you look at my, if you look at the front bumper up here, it is not a steel front bumper. I will tell you with 100% certainty, you're not going to break this thing. You can drive it into a lot of things and it will not break. It will keep your car secure, um, but it is aluminum. It's not steel and it is still just as reliable as a steel one. So this car was brought up quite a bit and with a lot of cars, you can lift up this front bumper and you'll see like a three inch change, change in, in height. Um, but because this front bumper uh, is so light, it doesn't actually weigh down the front of the car at all, thus keeping a kind of aggressive stance while you can still see um, basically your whole hood um, while looking straight forward. So that's, uh, that's a neat part about this. Uh, but it is a Mopar lift, so it's, uh, it's, it's still insured by Jeep and it doesn't void a warranty. Which is nice. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Um, over there, I've already done a video on this, but this is quite possibly one of my favorite parts to this um, build. 
it's basically got a, well, it's a snorkel, obviously, but the snorkel itself is made by Rugged Ridge, and it has um, no invasive properties to it. it you can fully um, undo it if you want, and if you also want, you can take off this top part up here and just leave this bottom vent to still keep a true cold air intake um, while not having a large snorkel on the top. You could do something like that if you had a large light bar or something, but as far as I know, you can actually still put a light bar on and the brackets with that somehow. I don't know how yet, but eventually one day I'll do that. Then this back here is the Warn Elite back bumper. Um, it is, um, it is a heavy, heavy bumper. It is not, it is not, it's not small. It's a huge bumper, um, and it does carry some properties to it that are nice. I have a roto packs on here, and you can put a high lift mount, high lift jack on there. I, I, I just bought that recently. Um, it should get here later this week, and. Of course, it has a larger tire tire carrier. For a lot of people, um, this is a necessity once you get a lift because it's not like you can just have a 33-inch tire on the back of a car with all 35s. Um, that's not something you can really do. So you have to have a 35 on the back, and um, these wheels, as you can imagine, are also a little bit more heavy than the stock ones. So you do have to either reinforce your tailgate or get a metal back bumper and so I went with the I went with the Warren Elite back bumper because Warren is a very trusted company and the other ones kind of seemed a little bit cheap and, and cheesy and I I couldn't really trust any of the other welds but this one has been pretty strong I haven't really gotten to use all of these things yet um, but I have it is also winter outside right now as you can see um, it, it's also like, I, I don't know, hopefully the snow's gonna melt soon so we can go off-roading, but, um, basically that's, that's, that's the entirety of this build. I've also got these tail lights on here. They're smoked, um, or, the, yeah, they're smoked tail lights. Um, it's a little dirty right now, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically all of the things that I put on the Jeep. And then later this week, we're gonna be doing some things with this winch. Um, this is, I'm, I'm never gonna replace this winch. It's a 12,000 pound winch. It's a great winch. Um, I've actually gotten to use that a few times. But um, yeah, so these tires, I have gotten to use those to their full potential going a little bit off-roading with some snow involved. And I literally couldn't get myself stuck um, with these tires because their treads are so deep and when you are in snow these things help you as well so even if these treads are fully locked up with snow these will help you co to continue moving and it's it's a nice thing because snow often will go up to here when you're like snow wheeling and things so it's a helpful helpful part to have um, of those sidewall um, the sidewall treads, but the only tires that I have heard of that would really um, outdo those in terms of life, life, uh, life durability, lifetime durability, are the Patagonia. Um, uh, what is it called? Milestar Patagonia tires, because those tires do happen to have a special design where on the top it kind of crests up a little bit the tread. Um, so unless you're off-roading, you're not using this full depth of tread, um, because this is quite deep and it will wear away after a while, but the Mile Stars, they have a tread that lifts up in the middle so that whenever you're driving on a road or something, you're always going to have only the center of it touching the ground, and these, you're going to have the whole tire touching the ground, um, but on the Mile Stars, it's only the center that touches the ground unless you're off-roading, in which case it will be able to touch the ground with these. You're likely going to be on softer land. So that would kind of increase the lifetime of the tire. But other than that, um, everything on here is something that, you know, will last me 
hopefully a lifetime and those shocks are great even if I wanted to I could put 37's on here um, now I only have 35's on right now and I have a 2 liter turbo so it's not 100% necessary for me to re-gear right now um, but if I wanted to get a little bit of um, gas mileage back I could uh, re-gear and then but I'd probably re-gear for 37 inch tires instead of 35's because uh, in the future I might one day get 37's but for now this works perfectly fine and I am really happy to have this looking like it is I'm really happy I, I, I actually haven't seen many builds of the ocean blue Jeep um, so I was I was really struggling to imagine how it was gonna look after the build um, and it, but but I'm very happy I'm very very happy with it I think it looks great and um yeah that's basically it i would like to get there's some headlights online that i found that i think they're called cyclone headlights or something like that and they look really neat those probably those a light bar um and uh an air compressor probably the only things i'll ever add to this jeep because uh, it's, it's, I, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. The Rubicon logo is still there. Everything else, uh, is stock other than what I've told you. And also the sideboards I added those recently, or not recently, last summer. Um, and those are kind of wearing away at the paint for some reason. You can see right here that the paint's coming off from the cold. Uh, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask this company, Go Rhino, if they'll maybe, uh, if, if they'll tell me if, if I need to do something to them or if this is natural because I feel like this shouldn't be happening with paint just flick, flick, flecking off and all, all that. That's not great, but um, I have put those things through a lot, so it's reasonable for them to have a little bit of problems. Um, you can even see that they're a little bit closer over here than they are over here to the, to the actual sidewall of the Jeep, or, um, or, you know, body of the Jeep. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. We've also got the Max Tracks up there, just in case. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and also please share with your friends, because, you know, Shane's caring. Oops. Oops.